Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars. My name is Jay. I'm an astrologer and intuitive channeler. This video is your timeless reading. I am uploading this kind of for the general time frame of November 2022, or at least in that time frame, but it doesn't have to resonate then. It can be um, weeks, months later that you're coming across this. I may upload this video a little bit early, so it could be a little earlier of a time frame, late October, that you are coming across this and it may resonate, but whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever draws you into this video, whether it is the caption or something in the thumbnail, anything, um, that would be the time frame that there is some kind of a message here for you and it could be just one thing, it could be the entire reading, take it as it resonates, only as it resonates, if something doesn't really seem to resonate, doesn't fit, don't force it to fit. You don't wear a shoe that um, doesn't fit. So, all right, we'll go ahead and jump into this reading right after I very briefly say, um, feel free to hit the thumbs up button if you find yourself enjoying what I have to share with you, Gemini, and subscribe to the channel, Serious About Stars. But first thing I really got um, when I meditated on your energy, Gemini, was like the dust settling the dust settling and it might not really be so much dust as it is like um energy i get like energy settling um, i get that in your um past or your recent past there could have been a storm could have been some kind of a storm some kind of maybe even like a dark night of the soul some kind of um something that was like carried a very big or heavy um, energy, something that um, kind of put you into maybe like hibernation mode um, where you weren't really um, around people. You weren't, um, maybe maybe you disassociated with um, things or people, um, something like that. But I get, this is like, this is like the rain stopping and, and in that waking up, you know, um, waking up, something waking you up, whether it is, whether it is the, the rain stopping or the, the, the sun light kind of just kind of coming through like cracks in the, in the walls or the, the cave. I get that some of you like in that hibernation mode or in some kind of, um, a cave, like metaphorically and metaphorical, um, way, um, and it could be, it could be like um, the birds chirping outside. Um, I also kind of got in your meditation, something about the birds, the bird song, following, following the bird song. And, and, and really, like, I feel like there could be like physical, actual um, things taking place, like opportunities um, around you that um, mimic the um, call of your heart. You might um, have a feeling like in your heart and then maybe something kind of comes up like an opportunity actually and it, and it kind of mirrors what what you're feeling in your heart and you're being led to follow that i feel that for some of you that could be what is is going on or some of you could just be just led straight from your heart like um like i don't know like like there's no like going out into, um, I don't know, I'm getting this like visual of like a forest almost. Um, and that I feel like that's just kind of like an analogy that it's not really like an actual forest, but for, but for some of you where you are, there is no path, there is no paved road or, or set trail path, there is no trailhead. But here you are um, at the start of something and, and maybe you're just being led by your intuition to, 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 to go this certain way, to turn here, to turn there, to, to go straight at this point um, forward. Something about going forward and trusting your, your intuition and just knowing, just knowing, you know, there's no, this is not something that anyone has ever um maybe walked before because it's just not paved. There is no trail. Maybe maybe for some of you, um, I don't know. I kind of get a feeling of, um, almost like not remembering something. I don't know what that's really about. 
I don't know what that's really about. Um, maybe there, I feel like it's something about like the trails, the paths, the roads that you have traveled in, in, in your past. They don't exist anymore or I don't know. I don't know if it's so much that they don't like exist anymore. Something doesn't seem to exist anymore, but I feel like um, there's just this, this new beginning, this, this, this clean slate. There's this um, having been washed, the water, the storm, um, <laughs> uh, completely washed something clean. And, and maybe for some of you, it's like, I don't know, maybe like for like one or two people out there, like not, this is, this isn't going to resonate for many people, but maybe somebody kind of like lost their memory in a way. I don't know why I'm getting that, but, um, that, that, that could be the case. And if it is, then, um, I feel that this is actually a blessing, huge blessing in disguise, um, being able to, I don't know, sorry, my cats are, are fighting, literally like fighting in the living room here anyway, <laughs> um, if you heard all that. Um, yeah, I don't know, Gemini, um, but I, I get, I feel like you're following the bird song, you're following the bird song, and this could be kind of like, I don't know, for some of you, this is like, um, like a divine counterpart. This is like, um, you're being led into, into unity or harmony with somebody. But, um, for others, this is just like the real, like, I don't know, this is your soul. Like you're following like your soul, you're connecting with your soul. And, um, I don't know, it's actually this really beautiful, just very reborn energy. I get this like rebirth, like this, this waking up out of rebirth or waking up reborn, um, in this innocence, in this, yeah, I don't know. I, I get this like innocence, um, and abundance as well. I feel that, I feel that for some of you in the past, you, you, um, planted these seeds and you might not have known it. It might not have been something that you really intentionally did, but you planted these seeds before you went into this hibernation and then you wake up and you have this whole garden around you, this whole garden around you. And a lot of like, I feel like a lot of like the work is kind of cut out for you. Um, I don't know, like, I feel like whatever has gone on, whatever has gone been going on, like everything happened actually perfectly, perfectly supporting so much for your future and um, uh, happy tears. I get happy tears. Um, butterflies, a walk in nature, like a lot of butterflies, um, like a very like heavenly, just like serendipity kind of, kind of feeling. I get like a unity rebirth. Um, and some of you, some of you have asked for a second chance at something and you're getting that. You are getting that. And I get also this sense of good weather. Good weather, maybe for a lot of you, there's been this sense of just really bad weather. There's just not been good weather for anything. Anything you wanted to do, the weather did not support anything you wanted to do. And now there's good weather. And I get this sense of not having to hide from anything, not having to hide from anything. Maybe maybe some of you have had to, to um, like energetically speaking, um, hide almost like your true colors or um, not been authentic for some reason because of because of the weather because it was cold or or it was wet something about not having to wear all these like layers on top of you not having to to wear these um maybe um defenses oh my cat is on the top of my my cabinets right now i never saw them up there before sorry I don't know why I start recording and then the cats go completely crazy. They, they, they usually calm and just sleep. They usually sleep all day. Anyway, um, Gemini. Um, but yeah, really something about not needing, letting your defenses down and just true colors, true colors, not just of you, but of others maybe. Maybe you're getting to see others, the true colors of other people. And there's this, this, this clarity that's really coming in for you and it's really, really lovely. I love it for you. Um, now also Gemini, I did, um, pull some cards already for you guys. Um, I asked for
for some um, underlying themes that could be really coming up um, to the surface um, in your in your lives right now in your life. Um, Gemini, the first card that came out was forgiveness. Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Um, now take this as it resonates, but I feel that for a lot of you, this is actually um, forgiving yourself, forgiving yourself, um, but take it as it resonates. It could be forgiving others. So take a look inside of, of, of any any um, resentment um, that there still is. Forgiveness is one of the most magical just universal keys to to any door that you want to open um forgiveness like it i don't know it unlocks doors it has the ability to unlock doors if there is a certain door that you are wanting to move through then this could be the key forgiveness forgive just let go forgive it's a, it's a powerful thing um also another card that came out was self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I feel that for a lot of you, this um, speaks to, to having love for yourself, loving yourself. For some of you, you are being called to love yourself first um, before somebody else. Love, love yourself. Loving yourself attracts love of others. Um, so that could be a thing for you right now. Um, self-esteem and also humor humor i choose to focus on the lighter side of life and another thing i noticed too about these cards was um the kind of flow of the colors in the order that they came out this card then this card and then this card it's you know when you think about you know the chakras um they go in this order, you know, starting with red, but orange, yellow, green, you know, it's almost like, it's almost like moving up. It's almost moving up your, the energy moving up naturally. Naturally, I feel like the, the you're on, you're in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. You are on the right path. Stay on that path. You are on the right path. Um, if anyone didn't really know if you, if you didn't know if you were on the right path or not, you are, you are, you, um, you're doing good. You're doing really, really good. And, um, you can be proud of yourself. You should be proud of yourself. Some of you might have needed to hear that. Um, yeah. Um, and then um, also I pulled some cards um, for angel messages for you guys. Got 39 blessing and 25 the eternal light of love. We'll take a look at those cards and see if anything um, kind of speaks directly to you from um, this imagery here. Um, anything that kind of seems to be a sign for you, for you specifically from these cards. And I will um, also read the um, angel messages for them. So 39, starting with 39, blessing. The light of God, the source of all creation radiates throughout the universe, permeating everything in existence. The very same light that warms your skin on a sunny day exists inside your heart and it connects you to everything in existence. Contemplate the significance of this for a moment and allow an awe-inspiring feeling of gratitude to flow over you. You are truly blessed. And you can say to yourself, if you would like, the light in my heart is my connection to the divine source at the heart of creation. I am forever connected to everything in existence, past, present, and future are one through me. Sorry, my cats are being really lo lovely. -a. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and 25. The eternal light of love. The eternal light of love permeates everything in existence and fills every atom of our being. 
This means light and love are always present in every situation, regardless of whether we can perceive it or not. There is love and even a hidden blessing within a current situation. Trust all that is occurring is for your highest good. Look beyond the surface and appearance of things. So yeah, I really feel a blessing, just a huge, huge blessing, just really coming forward. And, and it might already be there, but it might just not be illuminated quite yet. You know, um, something could be in its way and, but it's there, it's already there. It is already yours. Um, might just not see it yet. Um, and you can say to yourself, if you'd like, I trust in the eternal light of love, which stems from my soul and the heart of all creation. I trust in the eternal light and love within every situation I find myself in. I trust in the divine light. All right, Gemini. And then for some um, insight into love, life, um, relationships, romantic, platonic, take it as it resonates. I did pull some cards for you guys. The first card that came out um, was community. Um, yeah, community. Number eight. Um, and 40, co-create. And new life, which is 39, I think 39. Yeah, 39 was also blessing. So something about the number um, 39, if that speaks to you, it's also interesting, new life and blessing together when you put those together. I just, I just, I wonder for um, a handful of you, if these cards kind of are going together, something about this blessing, new life, new life being a blessing. Um, and also it's kind of like the, the, the movement of the light here, the movement of the light, something about that, the energy here. I feel like the energy in these cards are, Similar, I feel like this is about um, your rebirth for some of you. Rebirth. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll actually read um, from the, uh, the little relationship messages that these cards come with. Um, starting with eight, which is community. Um, and the essential meanings first, though, are belonging, being seen and understood by others, like-minded connections, a sense of family and friendship, knowing your place in the world. And the relationship message, you're discovering the essential qualities that you share with another and perhaps also those who, those you don't share. There are times when you follow the other person, follow and the other person leads in times when you lead and the others follow. The appearance of this card points to the importance of learning the proper um, proper dance be between you and another. Accepting the truth that everyone has flaws, everyone has flaws is part of the dance, yet you are also being asked to be aware of the dynamics that you don't want to repeat. You're in the perfect place to make changes in order to experience the best version of who you can be together. So yeah, I feel like that really speaks to the dynamics within a relationship. So I don't know, be mindful, make notes. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll uh, <laughs> co-create, okay, so number 40. Oh, did I pass it? No, I didn't pass it yet. Okay. Essential meanings, creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, manifestation, and the relationship message. Connections of the heart serve to inspire you, opening, up, opening you up to new ideas you would never have come to on your own. You are looking in a mirror held up by this experience and seeing yourself in unexpected in an unexpected way who is this extraordinary being looking back at you you are going to be so happy that you kept your heart open your love is a unique work of art now 
the very embodiment of beauty. Wow. Wow. That's nice. Um, all right. And new life. New life. Number 39. Essential meanings. Birth of new ideas. Growth. Opportunities. Breath of fresh air. Life renewing itself. And the relationship message. New energy enters old relationships and new relationships are bursting with the sweetness and vibrancy only encountered when winter gives way to spring. This is a time to connect with others and share excitement, passion, and hearts full of joy. This card is very auspicious, is a very auspicious sign with respect to love and partnerships in all forms. Another neat thing about that is in the meditation for you guys, you know, like a bear kind of coming out of hibernation, it's that that, that springtime too. Um, that I feel like this really, really speaks to. So there, so there could really be like a, the feeling of spring, like an underlying feeling of um, spring, new life, you know, um, new leaves, new leaves, maybe, maybe turning a new leaf um, for some of you. And then I also pulled some cards from... Um, uh the romance angels so um if anything here kind of like speaks to you um we got the wedding card coming out first this situation involves marriage so um and i feel that this really speaks to whatever whatever relationship it is that you are in or um is kind of coming to the forefront in a way it's it's a very um it's meaningful it's 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 nothing it's um to say serious but it is it is meaningful it is it's very significant it it could carry the um energy of marriage true true union worthy of marriage maybe um you know that that kind of next level it's it's real it's 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 um i don't know somebody that you could marry somebody that you um could be with forever could commit to, um, there's commitment there. Um, chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here, strong magnetic attraction here. So, um, yeah. And I feel like this also speaks to, um, Uh, I feel like this also speaks to you could you could get confirmation from this card of whether or not a relationship that you could be pondering. Um, I don't know chemistry. I don't know. Take a look at this card though. See if anything here speaks directly to you. Whether or not there is there is this true um, chemistry with a strong magnetic attraction. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what this is about, Gemini. I just get this feeling that um, there should be this kind of magnetic attraction. Um, and if there isn't, if there really isn't much of a connection, don't don't force it. I'm kind of getting that. But then there's also kind of something about being able to... Um, have you like you keep your own kind of self-control almost um in this like uh being able to like i feel like this this attraction could be very powerful but um having the ability to um have it be something that that you can kind of harness within yourself like you're you're part of it anyway you're 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 part of your side um you know i don't know like if it's like this like little kind of like white light that there's just kind of in the center. Um, and it's something you kind of like play with, I don't know. <laughs> um, keeping your, you know, your self-control, your, your ability, not, it not being more powerful than you, I guess. Um, kind of like knowing that difference, having those, those boundaries if you need them. Um, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. 
you don't have to do this alone. Maybe um, ask your friends if you're not sure about like a relationship or want advice or something. Talk to your friends. Talk to your friends. Um, there could be really like um, significant advice that you just need to hear, really. So yeah, talk to your friends. See what they think. Um, you know, and don't allow that like their words or their opinions to be like the most important thing. But like you know see other perspectives see other sides see what you don't know maybe i don't know um anyway um with this uh final part of the reading i will go ahead and pull some cards live and on camera here for you um we're already at 25 minutes usually this part i'm like not this far into the video yet but um all right let's get some um cards out for you guys so if you have any questions on your heart or your mind go ahead and bring those now up to the surface you can um ask it out loud you can say it in your mind whatever feels right to you gemini all right let's get some um all right what is this six of water okay so there could be some reminiscing going on um Daydreaming, I get a feeling of daydreaming. I get a feeling of um, daydreaming. I don't know, maybe even dreaming. Maybe something about your dreams. Um, but daydreaming, um, longing, I get this feeling, feeling of longing. Um, and this could be um, in relation to, to somebody, a relationship very, very well. Um, this could be also about kind of like reconnecting with like your own inner child, your own, um, your own innocence. Um, maybe there is something, um, also maybe like in the dark that has not been illuminated and you're, you're kind of going back, um, for something, um, kind of maybe just, maybe this is like kind of down memory lane. Um, and I feel that this is actually, um, maybe you are kind of, um, I don't know, uncovering parts of yourself, getting parts of yourself back that you um, kind of rejected before, maybe you rejected parts of yourself and this is you going back and becoming more um, whole in a sense. So yeah, I get kind of like a few different storylines here, but I, I feel this being like an emotional thing, um, something that comes from the heart too. I get like a sense of love. Uh, maybe this is you um, really finding love for yourself um, or not just finding love for yourself, but like rekindling your own, your own love for yourself. Like you didn't know how, like you didn't, maybe you didn't know like, like, that you didn't really, how much you didn't love yourself and now you're just like really embracing, really embracing um, yourself. I feel this being a more personal um, self-love thing, a little bit more than a relationship thing, but for some of you, it could be a little of both. I, I get the feeling that there could be um, both here, but the, the, the finding it for yourself, the love for yourself, that needs to come first, needs to come first. Um, yeah, okay. What else, Gemini? What else? Because we're already like almost 30 minutes in, I'm only gonna take a couple more cards. Um, but King of Earth. Hmm. I feel, Gemini, like some of the experiences you might have kind of gone through in the recent past here given you a lot of wisdom, given you a lot of wisdom and you've been able to kind of like access your um, personal power and um, ability to um, maybe even like, that's maybe helping you out in your, your career. Maybe you've reached like a new level where you're, um, I don't know, or like maybe your finances also kind of like 
flow more um, easily, naturally. Um, I feel like more alignment there in your um, career, your finances, something about that, something about um, wisdom too, and just personal power and um, something about like the way that you assert yourself maybe. Um, but I feel like there, um, maybe there could have been something that you recently really like achieved or you are about to achieve. Something about achievement here. All right. All right, Gemini, what else? So the cards that, I didn't look at that card yet, but these two, Page of Water and Ace of Air came out. I feel like um, there is a leveling up in a way that you didn't see possible. Something about something that you did not see possible was not possible, but it's happening anyway. Like there's just a miracle, there is divine intervention at play, there is divine timing, and something is being made possible that you did not like even consider because it was just not possible. Um, and the chariot came out as well. Something about this, I felt that this, I didn't flip it over yet because I felt like it was this um, hidden energy, movement, movement, there's something is moving and you don't see it, but it's already in motion. Something is already in motion and you don't see it. But I feel that um, maybe this is somebody coming towards you. Something coming towards you. I'm trying to notice the, the blue um, kind of like, I don't know, jewelry on the horse there in the front. Something about blue. Something about the color blue speaking maybe. Maybe there's a conversation that's going to take place, a speaking truth. I feel though that this is not, this could be somebody else speaking something, some truth to you and vice versa. It could be you um, speaking, speaking this truth. Um, but yeah, I mean, following your intuition, follow your intuition. I feel that for a lot of you, this is also though about somebody else following their intuition that may just very well lead them towards you. Um, but I get this kind of um, passion here too with this card. Um, Cherry is also um, cancer. It has to do with the cancer. Um, yeah. Um, or you could have a lot of that energy too. Um, but yeah, something about Cancerian energy here too, kind of, um, kind of coming through, um, maybe this is something about home, maybe something about your home or your family. Um, yeah, I get a very, I don't know, maybe this is the, this is, if it's about a relationship, it could be a very homey. I know something about the feeling of home. I'm going to get one final card for you guys. One final card. Oh, and it just dropped right out. Nine of fire. Nine of fire. I feel like there is some kind of a weight that is over. Some kind of a weight that is over. And you know, in your meditation too, when the um, kind of like the cave and like the coming out of hibernation, it's kind of like she's like in like the mouth of a cave here. Maybe, and then maybe there's just this fully charged energy too. I get this kind of fully charged energy where like these lights perhaps, um, I got this in another reading too, but I, I feel it really for you guys too. I don't remember who else had this kind of message kind of coming through, but it's like, say these lights are like solar powered, right? <laughs> something about solar power, something about the sun, maybe, Maybe this has to do something with the sun um, anyway. Um, but but it takes a while for like the, you know, something to be fully charged and it's fully charged now. It's fully charged now. 
and I feel that whatever this has to do with it's you can it's it's like your your lantern it's your lantern it's your light your 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 light your lantern that is going to guide you I don't know out of this dark night of the soul or this cave or whatever it is is, is fully charged and and you have everything you need now you have everything you need now to to make this um I don't know journey out of this hibernation um but I don't know I don't know I see this movement something about movements um yes okay Gemini well that is your reading uh we will leave it there and um I hope that you enjoyed that I hope that that you found that helpful in some kind of a way um feel free to give this video a thumbs up once again and hey i hope that you guys have a great day and um yeah come again to the next video i'll see you guys next time bye